Hi guys, welcome back to the doghouse. Jessica here. I wanted to do a little grim video just talking about the difference that I've seen in him lately with his training between me using treats versus a toy. It's not a huge difference, but I feel like he gets a little bored with food. I've been looking into different types of treats. I've actually got a slew of training treats that I've had to use just to kind of keep his interest, but I've noticed a little difference with his toy drive late as of lately. The other thing is actually environment too for his training. I've noticed a huge difference between training inside the living room which is here versus training outside in the front yard. I'm gonna do some treat training. So I've got my treats in my pouch. They're pretty stinky. He's pretty alert. He's got his vest on. That's one difference. He's got a leash on. That actually makes a difference for him too as well. I've noticed that when we're training he actually it's almost like he knows that when he's got a leash on to kind of behave, I'm not gonna, I'm not upset about that. He's five months old. I mean, he's gonna push his little boundaries probably for another year and a half. So what I want to start with is just some positioning. I do, I try to do positioning like every day. So can I get started? Grammar, here. Yes. Here's a new one. Um, here is the command, and this is the position I want for here. So let's see if he'll do it again so you can see a little bit better. Here. Yes. Now eventually I'm going to ask him to be closer. I'd like him to be, I mean, I want him to be right up under my belly button. I mean, I want him to be really close and we're going to have a cat distraction as well, which is fine. The other um, thing that I wanted to start teaching him is the stand position. He's not very, we haven't done a lot of that. Just in general, it's not a huge important command. I use it actually in the tub the most. Grooming, grooming any dog. I've, that's what we've initially, that's what we initially taught the, the command for is to stand in a grooming position. If need be, um, somebody that maybe can't groom their dog or walk around their dog or maneuver their dog themselves, it's easier if the dog knows the command to stand up. So. It's not something that he knows to like sit or down, it's something I actually have to still lure or mold a bit to get him to do sometimes. Grim, stand. Stand, yes. So what I actually do, I'm almost, oops, here you go. I'm tricking him a little bit. Uh, I kind of just do, like he's already, he wants to do that or lay down. But so what I kind of do is I kind of step, his good stand, I step away a little bit, like I want him to follow me, that's just a little trick. I'm just associating him with the command to stand. So stand, yes, good boy. Now what I have to do is treat him fast enough before he sits back down, because he's going to. Again, he's pretty calm right now. He's actually been in the cage for a few hours when I was at work. So again, I'm using treats. Notice the difference, he's calm. But he also is in a little bit of training mode, which is what I want when he's wearing a vest, which is why I like the vest. And he's going to offer me some positions, which is fine. Good boy. Foosts. Nope. Foosts. So he... Yes. So he did uh, try to do the foos position, which was nice, but he didn't do it properly, so we don't accept. Ah, ah. He broke it without being asked. Good. Good boy. So I'm also at a point where I don't want to treat every single time. He's old enough at this point, we've had enough lessons together that he knows better on certain commands and I'm allowed to more reprimand him for not doing a command or breaking a command. Come. Here. Yes. Here. I want to eventually train to be closer, so good boy. So I do kind of off, I retell him to the here position. Boost. Good boy. I only moved a little bit because I knew the couch was kind of in his way. Growing out of the living room, so outgrowing the living room, I should say. So I want him to, I said foos, so I want him to keep that position. Nope. I never said the KO word or anything like that. So I want him to keep the position to my left leg. Uh -uh. So that was a little confused. No. Foos. Yes. I didn't want to lose his interest too much or frustrate him, so I went ahead and gave him a treat for the good correction. One thing I do want to start 
doing with him is for him not to do this complete move. That huge loopy loop he does. Yes, that is how I trained it at first. I want him to be more, uh, I want him to move his butt a little bit. Sit. I want him to lay down every single time. He needs to hold a, a nice sit. Um, the other thing, like I was saying, I want him to learn to like maneuver his butt more than anything, than his whole body. He, has, he feels like, oops. He feels like he has to do that every single time, but it's also I'm forcing him. So, hey! That's something I have to relearn. I kind of, I kind of forgot how to do that. Um, I do use the target, a target bowl, uh, the touch. It's supposed to help with positioning a heel, like getting them ha ha, sits, good. Okay, plus. It also gets them to be more, what is it, rearing to wear or something. I, there's words for it. There's fancy words for it, but we're not going to be that fancy today, right? I want to show you a new command that I've been, just for fun, kind of. Um, this is a little, just a thing I've seen people do and it'll be some obedience, I guess. It's kind of, to me, it's like a trick move. But it actually came in handy when I was out in public with him in a really crowded area and he did amazing. But we actually, actually using this middle position was really useful for me, you know, personally. Um, so he does the foos, yes, ah, uh ah, -uh, foos. Face. There we go. That face and straight. Good boy. And my my voice is your praise. Not always a treat. Then you don't get treat happy. So which he's not very motivated by treats anyways. So the other one I was doing is to say middle. Okay. Grim, middle. No. I haven't asked him to do this in a little while just because he almost started to always do it. So I had so every time I would foos, he almost was going, trying to go between my legs anyways. Grim, middle, good boy. So I taught him this position just for fun and just another position, and why not? So the other thing that came in handy is plots. No. Yes. This is like a really physical position. He's between my legs. He can feel me on either side. Having him do this and just, I was in an area where it was public and I was standing in one spot for quite a while and so I just, to keep him out of the way, I had him do this and it would, because there was not really a place for him to go. All dogs, if they're going to be in public, should kind of be taught to be out of the way. They shouldn't be seen or heard, so they're actually typically taught to go under tables or chairs. There wasn't any of those available, so to keep him out of the way, this was actually perfect and he was very comfortable. He wasn't protective in this position. He wasn't insecure. I wasn't in a, I'm not in a way of coddling him, but it was really comfortable for both of us and he was out of the way, basically. Um, and it was just a really good, safe way to keep me out of, keep him from being stepped on or missed or just, just away from, out of the way. So, and just to kind of give people their own security as well that I have control over my dog, which you should have. Graham just turned five months old on the 18th of, what is this, February? So, five months old. Still calm little guy. So what I like to do is have him go from different positions and then, and then repeat it and then mix it up a little bit. So it's kind of nice, it's actually like mastering the sit and the lay down for now and then eventually mastering those other positions as well with his. A lot of people say, well my dog knows how to sit and lay down, they've mastered that that position, they know those commands. Well, I believe that a dog that truly knows how to sit or lay down can go from either position from whatever position it's already in. So that's kind of what, that's kind of to me like practicing the mastering of the positions is. So, hey, Grim, come, come. Good boy, not excited about treats, no? Okay. Ready? So I just blocked him with my leg because he was going to heal. So, good boy. Plats. Good boy. Ah, ah. Plats. That's why you have to be careful with this game. Sits. Yes. Plats. No. Ah, ah. Plats. Yes. Good boy. Sit. 
Jo, sehr. Good boy, Platz. Good, sit. Yes. So that was, he did really well, and then he did ugly, and then he did really well, because so we had to figure that out. This is called training up. Your dog's not gonna be perfect, especially at five months old, but you also have to do trial and error. Come, put it here. So here, still new, obviously, so I give him that, oh, I give him that movement of my own body. Grim, here. Ooh. I used the couch to block, good. That was not as nice, but it was still there. Grim, here, yes. So I'm also using the dog bed, he doesn't even know. I'm using the dog bed, he can't, he knows he can't do a heel. So, come. Good boy. Grim, here, yes. And I hold my treat here. I want us to focus here. Eventually you pull this away. Not yet. Good boy, here. Yes, foos. No, foos. Foos. That wasn't as straight as I, no. Oops. Yes, that was very straight. So you re ask for it. If it's not as straight as you want, expect better. Ask for better, and you will get better. Good boy, let him know what's better. Come. Good boy, that's where patience comes in in dog training. Grab Foose. As you can see, he's like a sloth. <laughs> that's the difference, huh? Good boy. One of the things that I've done, he's only done this a few, a handful of times, uh, to introduce back is to, because they don't know what that means, and a lot of dogs just sit with the back. So what I'm going to do is, so I have him up next to me and I have the couch, where like, I basically have him sandwiched between me and the couch, and I'm going to use my foot back. Yes, good boy, good back. I put my foot under him and it basically made him stand up, and he started to back up on his own. I went with him kept him focused on a treat, and then gave him the treat with a couple of steps backwards. Let's try that again. Grimmy, let's go. Grimmy, let's go. Grim, back, back, back. Yes. And he was still trying to sit right before he actually sit. I already started moving him backwards. I'm not using the leash at all. At first, you, you can. You can start, you know, you don't correct him with the leash, but you can use it as a lure to help move him around back. You're swallowing the treats too whole. So let's do a little bit more positioning with the sit and lay down. I'm sure you how that looks. Sit. Yes. No. Pass. Yes. Sit. Good. Stand. Yes. Good. No. Stand. Good boy. Sit, stand, and lay down are the three that I really want him to do consecutively. But you want to change it as well. Plots. Good. Sit. Good. Plots. Stand. Good boy! I even used my foot like I did with the back. I t touched his stomach with it, and it just kind of makes him jump up like, woo, touch me, and he is now in a stand position. So that's good, plats. Good, ah, no, plats. Good boy. Sit. Plats. Stand. Yes. Tiny, tiny little, and a pull, but a teeny, tiny, like, signal from the leash to get him to kind of stand as if we were going to go somewhere. I've been trying a couple of different things with him. That's why you'll see me do the stomach touch, the leash, or even just a treat lure just to get him to stand. Good boy. So I'm not ashamed for that. He's good. Now he's in a place. It's good for him to know the three positions. Um, I've been using different things for him to learn to stand. Whatever works for your dog is cool. I'm not sure exactly what works for him. I'm still testing it all out, which one, which lure, which little teaser, which, well, which one, which signal is going to help him establish what the word stand actually means or what I want it to mean for him. So, come. Good. Good. I'm a little. Sit. Plats. Sit. Very good. Stand. Good. Oh, good boy. He almost sat back down. He almost sat back down. Okay. So now I want to incorporate a toy in the living room for training. Toys are a little different, and he's a little bit more excited. So, good boy. I thought that was a toy. 
All right, so he is a little bit more awake now, it seems, which is kind of funny. It's been uh, about 60 seconds since we switched from treats to toys. To toys are a little different, though. They're actually, it's a little bit different for me as well. I'm not used to using them as a, to a toy as a reward. I know it's used as a reward a lot, which is really good, but um, it's kind of interesting because you can't, every single time he does something, hand him a toy. Hand him the toy, because he then gets the toy. Um, treats, he just eats really quick and you go about your business. So you want him at a point where he's not getting treats every single time, he's not learning stuff brand new with the toy, but a toy can be a really good lure and uh, especially outdoor fun for obedience and, or anything else that you want to teach him. So we'll try this too. Plots, sit, plots, sit, stand, stand, yes, good boy. So he kind of has to go through the whole deal and then he gets to chase the ball. Here. Good. Boost. No. Boost. I think he thought the wall was too close. Good boy. Plots. Grim. Middle. No. Middle. Yes. I screwed you up, huh? I screwed you up there, huh? I put the, put the bed in the way, huh? I think our next trick is to teach him to catch it. <laughs> Come on. Boost. Okay, see? See what I mean? I have to keep my legs closed to do this. Uh uh. Boost. No. Yes. No. Boost. Good. Plots. Excuse me. No. Yes. Good boy. Communicate. Communicate with your dog. Good boy. Stay. Ah ah. Plus. Stay. Good boy. I like to sound very offended when he kind of, I guess, disobeys or breaks a rule or a command. But you have to remember not to put emotion in it. And I immediately go to the good one, the praise. So. This is going to be a hard one. He hasn't worked on this in a long time. I'm going to see a leave it. So for me, a leave it, it ah, and you'll see him peeking, but ah, ah, leave it. Good. A leave it is to not only not touch it, don't look at it. Don't ah, leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. He's <laughs> cautious on his okays. Good boy! Yeah! Good boy! Good boy! Oh. Out. This is a new one. Yes! Good boy! Good boy. Out. Good boy. He's barely holding on to that with his mouth. Um, I can actually pull it right out, but I want him to decide to let me have it when I say the, when I say out. So good boy. Out. Grim. Out. Hey. Good boy. Okay, so that was just a little bit of our training that we do kind of on a daily basis. I like to do positions, I like to practice. That's the main things I like to practice um, because I feel like those are going to be used the most on a day-to-day -day basis a lot of times, especially if I take them out in public or anything like that. So that was just a little rendition of what we do. He's pretty tired already. So I'm going to let him rest a bit. Right, Graham? Of course, oh, it's like nap time for everybody. That's our dog den, by the way. I definitely want to do a video on our how we manage our kids at the house. So, oh, the other thing I forgot is that Grim lost a tooth. If you are on the Instagrams, you saw it. Let me see. Let me see. He thinks I'm playing, but look, he knows how to let me look. And you can see his little six month canine, he's finally getting canines. Six month old canines are starting to break through the skin which popped out his little baby canine. Which, by the way, I actually never ever find 
And I always hear about other people, it's not there. I always hear about other people finding their dog's teeth. Let's see if we can focus on that. Is it gross or cool? There we go. I think it's cool, I'm gonna save it. Anybody wanna make me a necklace? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna let all the dogs out. I'm gonna try to break them out of this nap time. We got Harvey on the couch during training, just snoring away. Kitties too, but that's basically where he is. I feel like he's like not glued to the couch, but has now become one with the couch. But that's gonna end our video. I'm gonna take his vest off, get him out of training mode, take him outside for a quick spin, and then we will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Grim. Say bye, Grim.